One of the ways to have more time to do the things that you want is to get the things that you have to do done a lot faster. And because between my medical school and my various jobs, I have a lot of things that I have to do every single day, I am quite invested in finding ways to get all of that done a lot quicker. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing five ways in which I make my workflow with my MacBook a lot faster and therefore how I have more time to do the things that I want like this video. If you're interested, let's get straight into it. The first thing I do, and I have my computer down here, which is why I might be looking down, is to use text expansion, or I'm not sure if it has a specific term, but basically I started this when I started my job as a PA and suddenly I had all of these forms to fill in and emails to write. So basically what I've done is I've set up all of these keyboard shortcuts that all of my devices recognize so that I only need to type one or two letters and a space bar and they expand into whatever I want them to. I've done this with my home Zoom link, for example, so that when I'm texting texting someone over WhatsApp or in an email, I can just write Liz Zoom spacebar and then my link to my Zoom account shows up. So I don't have to go all the way to my Zoom and copy the link every single time. And also I've done it for everything. So if I press AA, I get Elizabeth in brackets, Ali's assistant, which I sign off a lot of things with. I have Ali's address here, my personal address, my phone number, Ali's phone number. So basically all of the things that I just know that I'm using very, very often, I'll just have a text expansion for. Or for example, when I'm writing an essay, let's say I'm writing an essay on pneumothoraxes and I know that I have to write the word pneumothorax a thousand times, I can just make a keyboard shortcut for PN and every time I write PN, which is no other word, it can just turn into pneumothorax. So this is what I would recommend that you do. It saves a lot of time and it takes just a few seconds to set up. So basically to set it up, all you have to do is go to your device settings and then go to keyboard and there's a lot of tabs on the top. So if you go to the second one, which is text, you can add or remove short cuts for basically anything. Um, so yeah, these are a bunch of mine. Unfortunately, I can't show them because they're all quite personal. Um, but yeah, this is what I would recommend that you do. The second thing is copy and pasting tool with Alfred. I'm very often in this situation, especially when I'm working with studies or working with large amounts of data that I need to copy and paste things from one page to another page, for example. And often this needs to be done and can only be done one by one. But what happens is if I make an error or I want to copy something that I've closed the tab for or that I copied ages ago, I just can't find it. So I need to go through the whole process of finding the thing again and copying it again. And I'm sure that if you work on your computer, you can relate to having copied things two times ago and now you want it again, but you can't find it. What I find is extremely useful is this snippets tool. And what it does is basically it saves all of the things that I've copied and pasted. I think it saves up to a hundred of them. So the list just goes on and on. So every time I want to paste something that I copied three or four times ago, they're all saved on my clipboard or when I know that I have to copy like 50 things or 60 things, I'll just copy them all in a row without having to paste them and then I'll paste all of the things in a row. If that makes sense, this is endlessly useful. And this tool is just a part of Alfred. And then I'll move on to Alfred too, because I think I think that this is one of the things that speeds up my computer workflow the most. The way that I would like to describe Alfred is that it really empowers you as a user in turning your computer into a machine that you can very quickly control from wherever. So let's say for example, I am on this Notion page for the script of this video and I'm thinking that I want to Google something. What I would normally have to do is kind of find, go to Google Chrome or go to Safari, open a new tab, start typing so I can Google something. But what you can do with Alfred is you just press one thing and this kind of search bar shows up on your screen, no matter what app you are on, no matter what you are doing on your computer and you can Google anything. So I can Google, um, what's the weather like tomorrow? and press enter and that will immediately take me to Safari and do that Googling for me. So basically I kind of skipped a few clicks here and these clicks really add up and it makes the workflow a lot more smooth. So for example, if I'm in the middle of writing something, especially if that is something creative or something to do with university, it doesn't take me many excuses to kind of feel like I don't want to do it anymore. So if I have to stop and do something else for the fifth time, the sixth time or the 20th time, I'll feel like, oh, you know, oh, I accidentally typed YouTube instead of Google or something like that. And the other thing that it does, and I find incredibly useful, is that it's a finder automatically. So it's quite easy to find files on Apple already, but if you just press Alfred and press enter, you can open any file on your computer. So let's say, for example, I want to find my CV, which is always, I don't know why it's hidden within like 50 folders and it's so difficult to find. I can just press CV and I have a list of multiple CVs. Um, I've been updating it recently, so that's why I have so many. Um, and I can immediately open my CV up. 
Next is Tech Sniper. Now, Tech Sniper is one of the most ingenious apps out there. I am so grateful that someone suddenly did this. Basically what it does is that it creates this snapshot tool where you can click and drag any image, any PDF, basically anything that shows up on your screen and it converts it into text. If you're a student, you see where I am going with this. If there is a presentation, if there is a YouTube video that's talking about something and you have to kind of usually always type everything out and pause the screen, what you can do with Tech Sniper is you can just copy the screen and it will automatically turn it into text that you can paste elsewhere. This is endlessly useful both for students and for people who are working. So as a student, obviously you can use these with your presentations and with YouTube videos to get information. But as someone who is working, I find this so useful with credit cards. I think that's the thing I use it the most for uh, because Ali has a bunch of different credit cards that I need to use. So for example, if he gets a parking ticket, he will send me the parking ticket over and I don't need to type out the address every time. I can screen grab his car details from this photograph that he sent me I can screen grab his card details from the bank card and everything is just entered so much faster than it would have been done otherwise honestly it's something that I genuinely use multiple times a day on a daily basis it is so 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 incredible would strongly recommend it absolutely life-changing but the fourth thing I would recommend is using shortcuts within apps and this is something that I always do so um, I use a lot of apps and I try out a lot of apps at least and whenever I download a new app I will always kind of google the shortcuts within it just because keyboard shortcuts make workflows a lot faster kind of make you feel more empowered and make the workflow on the app a lot more fun in general so for example on notion i know i have a bunch of shortcuts so i can automatically create bullet points i can automatically create toggles or numbered lists or make text bigger or smaller um, small things such as just bolding text or making text in italics on and off with your keyboard opening new tabs closing tabs moving between tabs all of these things i would recommend that you learn and you use because it just makes your workflow a lot more fun and fast. Also, especially here, I will emphasize screenshotting shortcuts. So um, on MacBooks, you can either screenshot your whole screen or you can screenshot part of your screen or you can screenshot part of your screen and save it to your clipboard. All of these things are endlessly useful, would really recommend learning. Also keyboard shortcuts such as deleting a whole word or a whole line, just make your workflow that bit faster when you are typing. The fifth thing is using free apps. And as someone who is a bit of a geek when it comes to apps, and I'm always um, easily excitable about them and I will always download new ones and see what they work like. So I will say that I'm kind of getting to the place where I'm returning to the OG apps of every platform. So for example, I use Apple Notes all the time. And the reason I'm mentioning this in terms of speed is that simple apps that are developed by Apple themselves, for example, are a lot more faster than anything that I can download, for example, Notion. So, um, and they sync so fast across all devices. I can make an Apple Note on my phone, which will be automatically synced with my laptop, which will be automatically also synced with my Mac. So the workflow between the apps is super, super fast. Sometimes if my AirDrop is not working, for example, I will literally just grab a photo and put it in a new note, and then I can open another device and the photo will appear there almost instantaneously. So these apps are super, super useful. Um, they're there, they're free. I mean, free after you've paid for a 2000 pound device, but um, free at that point. Um, and they are super fast and effective. So there's no need, I think, to always look for the new fancy shiny app, but you can use the simple one that are there already and they actually work super super well and I'll just have one last bonus thing which is typing fast of course you can imagine that if your typing speed is 30 bringing that typing speed up to 120 would quadruple the speed with which you currently work so it's definitely something that is worth investing in of course typing is just a small part of your overall workflow in whatever you are doing but it is a significant Feet. The closer your typing speed is to your thinking speed, the less friction there is to doing work and therefore the faster and the more effective work can be done. Honestly, I think these tips can save anywhere from a few seconds to genuinely hours, depending on how much time you spend working or studying on your computer. But the most important thing I think is that they make work feel a lot more fun. And honestly, just having a few more seconds or minutes or hours in a day to do absolutely nothing or to procrastinate is usually a lot more usually is a lot better in the long run. So that was absolutely everything that I had to share today. I hope you found this video valuable. Thank you for making it so far if you did. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Be kind to yourself and others and don't believe everything you think. Thanks. Bye.